Hebrew doesn't have a specific term for rainbow. This term could mean rainbow or bow, like a bow and arrows. It actually means both. And as we look at it, we're not supposed to distinguish between rainbow and bow as a weapon. The rainbow is God's weapon. Stored in the clouds where we can see it, but also cut off from where God resides. The bow stands now between us. If God is going to use the bow to tear open the heavens and allow the waters to come down and flood the earth, God has to come down to the earth to do it. The structure of the universe as they understood it was that there were waters under the earth. There's the flat layer of earth on which we live and then there is a bowl shaped thing they called a firmament that sits upon the earth and keeps these other heavenly waters at bay. And God would generally open windows in this firmament to fill up the clouds to bring water over the earth. But now this bow of God, this weapon, is no longer up in heaven above this firmament. It is now below the firmament in the clouds where we can keep an eye on it. It's what the story says where we can 